hold on, pause. Something doesn't make sense. Look, in 2015, Biff steals the sports almanac and takes the time machine back to 1955 to give it to his younger self. But as soon as he does that, he changes the future. So the 2015 he returns to would be a different 2015, not the 2015 that Marty and Doc were in. This is hot tub time machine all over again. <laughs> If future Biff goes back to 2015 right after he gives young Biff the almanac, he could get back to the 2015 with Marty and Doc in it. Because it wasn't until his 21st birthday that 1955 Biff placed his first bet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is placed right? What do you mean? Is placed the right tense for something that would have happened in the future of a past that was affected by something from the future? Had will have placed? That's my boy. <laughs> So, it wasn't until his 21st birthday that Biff had will have placed his first bet and made his millions. That's when he altered the timeline. Yeah, but he had will haven't placed it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Unlike Hot Tough Time Machine, this couldn't be more simple. When Biff gets the almanac in 1955, the alternate future he creates isn't the one in which Marty and Doc Brown ever used the time machine to travel to 2015. Therefore, in the new timeline, Marty and Doc never brought the time machine... Wait, wait. Is brought right? <laughs> Marty and Doc never had, have, had brought? I don't know. You did it to me. <laughs> I'm going with it. Marty and Doc never had, have, had brought the time machine to 2015. That means 2015 Biff could also not had, have, had brought the almanac to 1955 Biff. Therefore, the timeline in which 1955 Biff gets the almanac is also the timeline in which 1955 Biff never gets the almanac, and not just never gets. Never have, never hasn't, never had, have, hasn't. <laughs> Is right? <laughs> so what kind of name is Biff? <laughs>